Okay, this won't take long. Right click, Combinator, name it Weedy Leedy Mixer, Thor, initialize it, and open it. And I'll just add in some notes now. Okay, there's our notes all soloed out and happy. Don't know why they'd be happy, but why not? Now change the oscillator to pulse wave and bring the octave up a couple. Next up, we're going to turn oscillator 2 to wavetable mode. We'll just leave it there on basic analog. It's quite a nice tone for what we're using it for. And take a listen to the sound as I turn up this AM from oscillator 2 slider. This is called amplitude modulation, otherwise known as ring modulation, and it can get some really cool effects. We used a similar technique on one of the claps in the initial day one video, but as you can see here, it's doing a very different effect this time, making it kind of hollow, almost metallic. We're not actually listening to the wavetable oscillator at all, it's just modulating the analog oscillator. So, we've got this basis of our tone, nearly there, right click, duplicate devices and tracks, Yes, this is so over the top for such a simple synth, I love it. Hit tab to look at the back and take the output from the new Thor instance into our mixer. Now we've got two instances of it, which is kind of pointless, so let's make it worthwhile and turn the pan to the right for one of them in the amp envelope and to the left in the other. And if we take a listen, that just gives it a bit extra width. For a bit more pronounced width, if we go to the one at the bottom here and change the pulse width, That just makes it a bit more pronounced because of the difference between the two tones. Now the pulse width is the length of the pulse as you can see by these tiny little diagrams around the knob. Now if we add in some RV7000 advanced reverb at default settings, just about quarter, something like that. And you're done. Yep, that's easy. As I said before, it's all about simplicity. The reverb and width makes it sit in the mix really nicely. So, there we have it. A lead synth more summery than a looming depression about having to go back to real life after August, and another lead synth more simple and insignificant than the meaning behind the lyrics of dance pop music. Join me tomorrow for day four, where I'll finish off the patches with a Gaga-esque gated pad, a pitch bend synth, and a big bass pad for our bridge. See ya!